good morning i am dr kumar sami i am going to explain about uh, mesh method right in the circuit theory or b triple there are so many methods a mesh method or nodal method or uh, some of the theorem used to find out current flows through the uh, any components in the circuit by using this theorem or by using the mesh method or nodal method we can determine the current flows through flows through any components in the circuit right uh, here for sample i am going to share one circuit <coughs> right here i am sharing one circuit uh, by applying the mesh method by applying the mesh method we are going to find out the current flows through the various mesh here right uh, in the given circuit first what is mesh that is on closed path that is called what here mesh one closed path in the circuit right here let us consider this one of the closed path and this one second one and this one there are uh, three closed paths are there right closed loop or uh, closed loops are called here mesh we are going to find out the current flows through the various mesh okay once you know the current flows through the various mesh then we can determine current flows through any component in the given circuit for example if they are asking determine the current flows through the one ohm resistor if you know the mesh current uh, flows through the first mesh and second mesh then difference between these two will flow through the one ohm resistor right here first i am explain how to find out the various mesh current right whenever you are going to apply mesh method the first step is you assume first you assume mesh currents right uh, generally they will give circuits only they will give for example 7 volt battery 1 ohm other side 2 ohm here 6 volt battery 2 ohm 1 ohm only the circuit they will give the in the question they will give the circuit first step you have to assume the mesh current that is what step 1 assume the mesh current here i assumed the mesh currents in the first mesh first mesh current i1 here i am considering first mesh current i1 in the direction is uh, clockwise direction i am considering the current flows in the clockwise direction this one is mesh 2 here i assumed the current flows through the mesh 2 is i2 current flows through the mesh 2 is i2 and then this one is mesh 3 current flows through the <clears throat> mesh 3 is i3 here i assumed there are three meshes are there i assumed three mesh currents i1 i2 and third one is i3 okay this is what first step and second step you have to apply the kvl kirchhoff voltage law right by applying the kvl we can form the equation for each mesh right here how to form the equation for each mesh means let us consider the kvl while consider the kvl we can give uh, there are two statement in the kvl one is sum of potential rises that is equal to sum of potential drop in the closed loop right we can write the equation in such a way that we can group all the sum of potential rises in one side another side that is equal to all the drops rises equal to drops that is one idea and another uh, statement is the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of voltage in a closed circuit is equal to zero the algebraic sum of voltages algebraic that is with the sign if you are consider for example give positive sign for potential rises and negative sign for drops that is finally if you are adding both that is equal to zero as per this statement for example 
first statement potential rises equal to drop means 7 volt that is equal to all the drop if you are adding we can get 7 volt another one second statement i said algebraic sum of voltage algebraic sum of voltage around the closed path is equal to zero so as per the second statement here for example 7 volt algebraic sum plus 7 then minus 5 then minus 2 for example minus 5 volt dropped here and 2 volt dropped across the 2 ohm resistor means then i can write plus 7 minus 5 minus 2 equal to 0 that is what uh, we can form the equation by using st statement 2 here i am using the second statement algebraic sum of voltage around a closed path is equal to 0 by using the statement we are going to form the equation for that how to write the equation first algebraic sum means we should give the sign for each of the drop i said for rises uh, plus sign drop mean negative sign how to find out for example in case of dc circuit only resistors are there you no need to uh, what analyze anything just if you see any resistance just you give minus sign, then you write the equation. For example, here, one ohm resistor is there. First, you write minus one. Then what is the current flows through that? Then you can analyze. Then you can write the, uh, what are the currents are flowing. Then you can write that equation according to the direction of flow. Right. Here, uh, here I am first telling about only the uh, assigning of sign. Just you put negative sign for all the resistive drop simply. Then positive train, uh, sign for rises. But here, while you consider in the battery, we should analyze whether the battery is charged or whether the battery is supplied. Based on that, you can do the sign. Resistance means there is no need to analyze anything. Just blindly, you can give negative sign for resistance, but for battery, we need to consider. For example, the seven volt battery, how can I know uh, whether it is supplied or get charged? Get charged means it is considered as the load, we should give negative sign for that. How to find out? That is by using our assumed current direction. We only assumed this current direction, mesh current direction, I1. This is the assumed mesh current direction here, I assumed in the clockwise direction. Okay. In the clockwise direction, I am assuming the mesh current. As per assumption, now from the positive terminal, inside the battery, there is no current flow. Just you consider always current flow from the one terminal to another terminal, not inside the battery, minus to plus or plus to minus inside the battery, you should not consider here, right? You should consider always terminal to next terminal through the element. Here, let us start with the positive terminal. Here, current started with the positive terminal as per our assumption. Current started from the positive terminal, then it will flow through the one ohm resistor or another direction, then finally two ohm resistor, and here, finally it will reach the negative terminal. So if the current is flows from positive terminal to negative terminal, if the current is flows from positive terminal to negative terminal, we should give plus sign for the battery. Otherwise, if the current is flows from negative to positive, means we should give negative sign for that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let us see how to form the equation. For example, in the mesh one okay in the mesh one first time started from the one ohm resistor i'm going to form the equation for that i'm first consider one ohm resistor what are the current flows through the one ohm resistor in the normal pitch of law if you are applying only one branch current just we are considered current flows through the one ohm resistor where it is upward or downward direction but in the mesh method the advantage is we can assume there are more than one mesh current can flow through the each of the resistor. There is a possibility 
more than one current can flow through the resistor here i1 is flowing in the downward direction as per the assumption i1 is flows through the downward direction that is current flows through the one ohm resistor another one is i2 this one is i2 here right in the diagram right i2 also flowing through the one ohm uh, resistor but as per the assumption clockwise direction okay now the current is flows in the upward direction it through the one ohm resistor so i1 is flowing in the downward direction i2 is upward direction if they are flowing in the opposite direction means you have to subtract the current always i1 minus i2 since you are writing the equation with respect to mesh 1 so you subtract whatever the current flows in the opposite direction of i1 so i2 is flows in the opposite direction first i said sign is negative since it is resistor blindly you can give negative sign minus 1 ohm resistor so minus 1 then about the current 1 into some drop v equal to i into r r i am writing 1 ohm into r i i into r right r value is 1 ohm now i value i value is unknown value that the current flow i value means current current value current flows through the 1 ohm resistor is i said i1 minus i2 since i am writing the equation with respect to mesh 1 i'm subtracting the voltage drop due to other current other current is here i2 so i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 that is one ohm resistor and next one is what one battery source is there i said while you assign the sign for the battery we should consider where it is plus or minus okay resistor means blindly minus that means we should consider about the current direction as per things no current can flows inside the battery as per the assumed direction of current one minute here as per the assumption current will flows this direction then here then here then closed like this okay that is what here i said current is flows in the clockwise direction okay now as per the assumption here inside the battery there is no current if you are consider current is started from minus then it is flowing then flowing like this direction and ended with the plus entered in the positive terminal current leaving from the negative terminal and enter towards the positive terminal so current is started from negative terminal and then entered into the positive terminal if the current is supplied from the negative terminal entered to the positive terminal means now the battery is charged it is considered as the load so you give negative sign for this one this not potential rises as per my assumption this is a potential drop i am considering minus 6 suppose my assumption is wrong means the final answer if you are getting any minus 6 ampere or minus 2 ampere then we can assumed the current will opposite to the assumed direction uh, that is finally we can decide where assumption is wrong or not first you assume the direction of current and determine as per the assumption and finally your sign will indicate whether your assumption is right or wrong right suppose if you are getting negative answer then there is nothing to worry just you write for example my instead of minus 6 ampere in the downward direction we can write plus 6 ampere flows from flows in the upward direction like that we can give the final answer you no need to worry about that okay just as per the assumption here i said battery is what charged here we are consider that one is minus 6 minus 6 ampere sorry uh, minus 6 volt okay then next one is resistor again here i am started with the point here i am 
going to form the equation from this point. One ohm resistor over, then six volt battery over, and next one is two ohm resistor. You blindly give since it is resistor minus two. So minus two into then current flows through the two ohm resistor. What are the current flows through the two ohm resistor? I one in the downward direction. I three is in upward direction. So I one minus I three. Suppose both currents are flowing in the same direction. Means you put I one plus I three here. If they are in opposite direction, you subtract from I one. Since you are writing from the uh, uh, from the mesh one, you are forming the equation for mesh one. So always you subtract from I one. If they are in opposite direction, both are in same direction means plus. Okay, opposite direction. So I one minus I three. Now two ohm resistor over. In the next branch, there is no element. In the next branch, seven volt battery is there. <coughs> I already said. Now the current is flows from positive terminal to negative terminal. So here plus seven. This one is what plus seven. That is equal to zero. Then just you rearrange the equation. So we are in the equation uh, before. To mathematical, to solve the equation mathematically, first you write the equation, then you multiply minus one into I one, then minus one into I two, so minus one I one minus or minus plus I two minus six minus two into I one minus two I one minus two into minus I three plus two I three plus seven equal to zero. Then you you add all the I one into one side. Uh, you add all the I one, then you add all the I two, then I three. Right. First minus I one here minus two I one. So totally minus three I one. Like that you have to add all the I one into one side. So minus three I one, then plus two I two only. If you are adding all the i two, we can get plus i two. Uh, sorry, plus i two, then plus two i three. That is equal to. Here I am rearranging. One, we are getting plus seven. If you are taking the plus seven into other side, we can get minus seven in the above equation. And one minus six we are getting. Then you will become plus six in the right hand side. So minus seven plus six, so minus one. Then you. Uh, multiply by using a negative sign. We can get three i one minus i two minus two i three equal to one. Just I'm multiplying by one negative sign. First mesh over. In the second mesh, I'm going to write the equation for second mesh. Uh, again, I I will show the same diagram. In the second mesh, this one is second mesh. Let us start from the two. Start from the two. Now two into Second mesh current I two only flowing through this minus two always in the, whenever you find out any resistance means uh, you put minus sign so minus two into I two minus two into I two in the equation here I am writing minus two into I two and next resistor minus three whenever resistor is there blindly you put minus sign then you Uh, right about the current minus three into what are the current flows through the three ohm resistor? One current is I two, I two flowing. Another current is I three. As per the assumed direction, I three is flowing from left to right. I two is right to left, opposite. So I two minus I three. Since you are writing the equation with respect to mesh two, you subtract all the current from I two. So I two minus I three. Minus three into I two minus I three. That is what this one here in the mesh two. I'm writing minus three into I two minus I three. Our next one is the next resistor minus one ohm resistor. Let us see the diagram. Again, I will show the diagram here. One ohm resistor is there. So here minus one ohm into minus one into Current flows through the one one ohm resistor. What I one and I two. This time I am writing the equation with respect to mesh two. I need the voltage drop due to the second mesh. 
due to second mesh current i into r i am going to write r i am writing minus 1 into i i is what i2 minus i1 i need the drop due to i2 so subtract the drop due to i1 only due to the i2 what is the drop just you write so here minus 1 into i2 minus i1 this one is minus 1 into i2 minus i1 then you rearrange the equation just you multiply minus 3 into i2 minus 3 into minus i3 so minus of minus plus plus 3 i3 then minus 1 into i2 minus i2 then minus 1 into minus i1 so minus of minus plus i1 you add all the i1 here only one i1 so i1 then you add all the i2 minus 2 i2 minus 3 i2 so totally what minus 5 i2 here one minus i2 minus 6 i2 plus i3 only 3 i3 that is equal to zero let us take second mesh equation final equation two and third mesh you apply the kvl for mesh three here also with the help of uh, circuit i am going to form the equation first one is uh, one ohm resistor let us start from here In the mesh three i am starting here right just you take from this point then one ohm resistor then there is no element then two ohm resistor then battery then three ohm resistor and finally end with the same point that is what one third mesh minus 1 into current flows through the this one ohm resistor is only i3 okay so 1 into here i3 so minus 1 since it is resistor just you put blindly minus 1 minus 1 into i3 that is what first one minus 1 into i3 minus i3 and next resistor 2 ohm resistor here 2 ohm resistor this one is current flows through the 2 ohm resistors are i3 and i1 so minus 2 into i said always resistor is there put minus i minus 2 into since i am writing the equation with respect to mesh 3 so i3 minus i1 so minus 2 into i3 minus i1 then battery next one is battery i give negative sign while you are forming the equation for mesh 1 but for the mesh 3 as per the assumed direction of i3 in the mesh 3 current now you consider to give the sign for battery you consider the current direction of i3 don't consider the current direction of i1 now you consider i3 current direction i3 current is flows from positive terminal 3 ohm resistor 1 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor the negative terminal it will enter into the negative terminal started from positive terminal so positive terminal is supplied the current as per the third mesh so with respect to third mesh it is the potential rises so q plus 6 for this one resistor always get negative sign battery can get the sign with respect to whether the positive terminal terminal is applying the current or not if the positive terminal supplying the current means positive otherwise if the negative terminal side supplying the current means negative okay here plus 6 then minus 3 next resistor this resistor minus 3 here i2 and i3 are flowing in the opposite direction okay so here <coughs> let us consider i3 minus 3 into i3 minus i2 here minus 3 why i am given minus 3 since it is resistor blindly i can give minus 3 so minus 3 into other two current minus 3 into i3 minus i2 since i am writing the equation with respect to mesh 3 so i3 minus i2 that is equal to 0 okay now you group all the i1 into one side i2 into one side i3 into one side just mathematically <coughs> sorry you group all the i1 i2 i3 here right uh, minus 2 into i3 minus 2 into minus i1 so plus 2 i1 
3 are minus 2 i3, then minus 3 into i3, minus 3 i3, then minus 3 into i2, plus 3 i2, minus 3, minus i2, minus of minus, plus, rest of the things are minus i3. I am considering the minus i3 <coughs> as it is. This one is uh, multiplied and this equation also I multiplied. Then group all the I1. <coughs> 2 I1, 3 I2, minus 6 I3 plus 6 equal to 0. Then you take the 2 I1 plus 3 I2 minus 6 I3 one side plus 6. Other side if you are bring the 6 volt into right hand side means we can get minus 6. Then you multiply by one negative sign, we can get plus 6. This side we can get minus 2 I1, minus 3 I2, and then plus 6 I3 equal to 6. This is the third equation. Now, there are <coughs> three unknown, I1, I2, I3. Three equation also, mesh 1, mesh 2, mesh 3. There are three meshes, so that we are forming three equation. Three unknowns are there. We can solve this equation by using some algebraic method. That is, for example, uh, equation 2 minus 3, then equation 1 minus 3. In both uh, time, you can subtract the I3 in such a way that you multiply by using some factor, subtract the I3, you can get two equation, I1, I2. Thereafter, you make the I2 equal to 0. You can get the answer for I1. You substitute. You can get I2. Then if you are substituting I1 and I2, then we can get I3. That is what uh, normal algebraic equation solving method. I'm not going to explain that method now. So that I'm simply said, simply by using normal mathematics, three unknowns are there, we can solve it. That you know already, okay. But another one method is, by applying the grammar rule also, we can find out the answer. By applying the grammar method, for the grammar method, from the each of the equation, you take all the coefficient of I1, I2, I3 from the first equation, uh, 3I1 minus I2 minus 2I3. Coefficient of I1 is 3, coefficient of I2 is minus 1, coefficient of I3 is minus 2. So 3 minus 1 minus 2. Just you write all the coefficient 3 minus 1 minus 2. From the second equation, just you write 1i1 minus 6i2 plus 3i3. So 1 minus 6, 3. Right. Then third equation, minus 2i1 minus 3i2 plus 6i3. Coefficient of i1 is minus 2. Coefficient of i2 is minus 3. Coefficient of i3 is plus 6. Just you write coefficient matrix into unknown value. i1, i2, i3. Unknown value. This i1, i2, i3 from all the equation. Equal to... Right hand side, first equation equal to 1, second equation equal to actually 0, and third equation is equal to here we are getting 6. Just you form this. Now, by applying the grammar rule, we are going to solve this <coughs> what matrix equation. For that, first you find out del value. Del equal to the coefficient matrix. Just you write the coefficient matrix, then you find out the determinant. That is 3 into, you know the rules, right? To find the determinant, 3 into, you just cross this row, sorry, this column and this row. Then 6 into 6, 36, plus into minus, so minus 36. Then as per the matrix rule, you put one minus sign. Minus of minus 3 into plus 3, minus 9, minus of minus plus. So here plus 9, 3 into this one. Then minus of minus 1 into, so minus of minus plus 1 uh, in the matrix, plus, then minus, then plus. We should give the sign like that. So minus of minus plus 1 here, plus 1 into, just you cross this one, this column and this row. Remaining values are 1 into 6, 1 into 6, then minus of minus 2 into 3. So plus 6. <clears throat> then similarly, minus 2 into this one, minus 2 into, you cross this row and this column. We can get 
minus 3 into 1. So minus 3 minus 2 into what? Uh, here. Third row and third column means we are uh, cancelling third row and third column. So minus 3 into 1 minus 3 then minus 6 into minus 2 actually plus 12 then you add one minus that is what rule of uh, matrix right so minus of minus 2 into minus 6 so minus 12 so you find out this value 36 minus 36 plus 9 minus 27 6 plus 6 12 into 1 12 then 12 plus 3 minus 15 into minus 2 plus 30 and finally we are getting what minus 39 that is what del value let us find next one is to find the i1 value we need del 1 actually del 1 by del equal to i1 or i can write del i1 by del 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 will get cancelled we can get i1 right we can represent by del 1 or del i1 whatever may be okay now to find the <coughs> del 1 how to find the del 1 means in the given matrix, this matrix or this matrix, in the given matrix, you replace the first column. You replace 3, 1, and minus 2. This one is what? Uh, first column, right? Just you replace this first column by the value of voltages, this value, 1, 0, 6, <coughs> right? Just you replace 3, 1, minus 2 by 1, 0, 6. Then you will get one matrix. Find the determinant of that one that will give the delta one. Okay. Now I said del one value. Del one value equal to first column. I'm replacing one zero six. Rest of the values are similar. Same values. Again, just you find out same thing. One into here 6 into 6 minus 36 minus of minus 3 into plus 3 minus of minus plus so plus 9 plus minus of minus here plus 1 plus 1 into if you are crossing this one and this one 6 into 0 6 then minus of 6 into plus 3 minus 18 then minus 2 into this row this row and this column cancel 0 into 3 6 into 6 so minus minus of minus 6 into 6 so plus 36 you can get minus 117 that is del 1 similarly del 2 del 2 second column this one second column is replaced by 106 rest of the value we are keep as it is here 106 this 106 replaced in the second column minus 1 minus 6 minus 3 the second column replaced by this 106 for del 2. For del 3 means third column should be replaced by 106. So here del 2, second column replaced by this value 106. Then you find out the determinant minus 78. Then <coughs> del 3, third column replaced by replacing the third column again by a normal matrix rule. You find out del 3 value, 3 into this one, 3 into 6 into 6, minus 36, minus 3 into 0, 0. Like that you find out, you can get minus 117. Then I1 value equal to, hereafter, I1 value. I1 value equal to del 1 by del i1 equal to del 1 by del that is equal to minus 117 del 1 value divided by del value minus 39 3 ampere actually sometime we will denote this del 1 is del i1 easily you can remember del del get cancelled we can get i1 like that so some of the book they will denote this not del 1 del i1 this one is del 2 or del i2 so i2 equal to del 2 by del minus 78 by minus 39 del value common minus 39 always i2 i3 value del 1 del 2 del 3 value we are replacing the first column we are find out this one by replacing the second column we are find out this one 
and by replacing the third column by using voltage value we are find out what del 3 that you substitute here we can find out various mesh current i1 i2 i3 okay this what mesh currents in this problem just <clears throat> i am find out only the mesh current i1 i2 i3 in the <clears throat> in some other problem if they are asking for example what is the current flows through the one ohm resistor means here i1 minus i2 what is i1 and i2 let us find i1 minus i2 3 ampere minus 2 ampere 1 ampere flows in the direction of current i1 what is the direction of current 3 minus 2 i1 is 3 and i2 is 2 ampere so through the 1 ohm resistor 3 minus 2 1 ampere 3 minus 2 1 1 ampere is flows in the downward direction so our assumed direction is correct here okay like that we can find out current flows through the various resistor for example current flows through the 2 ohm resistor is what the value of i2 only i2 can flows through the 2 ohm resistor so 2 ampere is flows through the 2 ohm resistor that is the current flow if they are asking the what is the voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor means current flows through the 2 ohm resistor is i2 2 ampere resistance is 2 ohm so 2 into 2 4 volt voltage drop is 4 volt sometimes what is the power dissipated in the 2 ohm resistor means we can write i squared r formula i is what 2 ampere 2 squared into r 2 ohm so 2 squared is 4 into 2 8 watts 8 watt is 8 watts is flows uh, sorry <coughs> here dissipated in the 2 ohm resistor in such a way that we can find out the current flow through the each of the element we can find out the voltage across each of the element and we can find out the power dissipated in the each of the element by using mesh method okay thank you